Hello students, a warm welcome in JE Physics Solution Series. Here is question from SC Burma Physics. So student, question is saying that a body of mass n is suspended by two strings making angle alpha and beta by the horizontal find the tension in the string. So student, this question is mainly based on Newton's second law of motion. This is a support by which a mass m a block of mass n is suspended by two strings let these are two strings and their tension is p1 and p2 when suspended a mass m okay so mass rate of this block work in downward direction and this tension and this tension is making angle alpha and beta with horizontal okay so now we resolve the forces of one side and another side. So we resolve this P1 force. So this is P1 cos alpha in the horizontal side and P1 sin alpha in vertical side. And you know by resolving the force at angle theta. So now we also resolve this P2 tension P2 is still so P2 cos beta and this is P2 sin beta. Okay, so by making this the solution of forces, now we take by Newton's second law of motion. Newton's second law of motion motion or we write it is the state of equilibrium. In the state of equilibrium, you know that the force of vertical sides are equal to the force of uh, horizontal uh, downward direction, vertical direction or downward direction are equal and force of left side direction and right side direction are also equal for it and equilibrium. Okay, so we here have that P1 plus P2 force P1 this is sin alpha plus P2 sin beta equal to how much this is Nb ok this is our first because upper side force are equal to the lower side force now this P1 P1 cos alpha equal to P2 cos beta. So these are two equations by solving them we can find in the T1 and T2. So we put T1 equal to T2 cos beta over cos alpha in first and we got that T1 T1 we put here T2 cos beta over cos alpha into sin alpha plus P2 sin beta equal to N. Okay, now we take P2 common from these two. V2 that T2 is after taking P2 common cos beta over cos alpha into sin alpha plus sin beta equal to N. Okay, so P2, when we take LCM of this cos alpha, this becomes cos beta sin alpha plus sin beta cos alpha equal to Mg. Okay, so we put this value P2 sin A cos B plus cos A sin B we use here. So sin alpha plus beta sin a plus b over cos alpha equal to mg. So on cross multiplication we got t2 equal to mg cos alpha mg cos alpha upon sin alpha plus beta or we write it as cos alpha over sin alpha plus beta into Mg. 
So this is the tension T2 in the string, second string, which is T2. Now we find T1. So from equation that are T1 cos alpha equal to T2 cos beta, therefore T1 equal to how much T2 cos beta over cos alpha. Now put this term and you can easily find out the value of T1, T1 answer this thing, this is T2. So cos alpha into cos beta over this is cos alpha into sin alpha plus beta. So this cos alpha cos alpha divided one times we got T1 equal to cos beta upon sin alpha plus beta. Okay friend. So this is T1 and this is T2. T2 we got cos alpha over into mg. mg is also here. mg is also here. So cos alpha sin alpha plus beta into mg. So this is the tensor in the stress. Student, by using Newton's second law of motion, it means there is no acceleration because upper side force are equal to the lower side force and right side force are equal to the left side force. So I hope you got it. Thanks so much.